One of the most intriguing questions in current space science is whether the Earth is truly the only giant planet in the universe that supports life forms. One planet has continually drawn scientists' attention in the quest for extraterrestrial life forms, Venus. Our cosmic neighbor, formerly known as Earth's twin, became known as a life-hostile environment due to its deadly cloud cover. However, a fascinating new theory demonstrates that, against all odds, life on Venus is possible. But, how is life possible on Venus? And is it possible for us to live there? Keep on watching to find out more. So, is there life on Venus? This question has been discussed by scientists for over a century. There is a growing interest in Venus as a possible home for living beings. Astronomers on Earth have uncovered evidence of what may be life high in Venus's poisonous atmosphere. If the discovery is confirmed by further telescope observations and upcoming space missions, it might draw scientists' attention to one of the night sky's brightest objects. Venus, named after the Roman goddess of beauty, burns at hundreds of degrees and is shrouded in clouds containing deadly sulfuric acid particles. Few have considered the rocky planet as a possible home for life. Venus appears to be an unusual possibility for life at first glance. The temperature reaches 887 degrees Fahrenheit at the surface, which is hot enough to melt lead. There is a 90-fold increase in pressure compared to Earth. Sulfuric acid is also present in the atmosphere. It ain't Earth-like. However, the atmosphere, which is 37 miles above the ground, is more hospitable. The temperature and pressure are significantly closer to those found on Earth. Indeed, Astronomers and space scientists have long suspected that something unusual is taking place in this region of Venus's atmosphere. This evidence consists of a variety of chemical signals that should not be there or are difficult to explain using standard chemistry. This begs the question of whether or not these signals constitute proof of Venusian life. In May 2023, a privately sponsored mission to discover the source of these signals will launch. The Venus Life Finder mission, coordinated by MIT, says its spacecraft will search the Venusian clouds for indications of life. The Venus Life Finder missions are a set of specialized astrobiology mission concepts designed to look for habitability, evidence of life, and life itself in Venus's atmosphere. While people have speculated for decades about life in the Venus clouds, we may now act with cost-effective and laser-focused missions. Unexplained atmospheric chemical abnormalities are a primary driving force. These remaining oddities might be linked to habitability and life's activities, or they could be symptomatic of undiscovered chemistry worth investigating. The proposed VLF missions will examine Venus cloud particles and will pick up where the pioneering in situ probe missions left off over four decades ago. Many unusual events have been seen in Venusian clouds by astronomers for a long time. They detected structures in the atmosphere that appeared to absorb ultraviolet light nearly a century ago. The spinning of Venus's atmosphere caused these features to move in sync. Others have discovered evidence for this anomalous UV absorber, which absorbs light with a wavelength of 320 to 400 nanometers and changes in concentration and distribution over time. The unknown absorber is remarkably efficient, capturing more than 50% of the solar energy reaching Venus, with consequent effects on atmospheric structure and dynamics. Said the team led by Sarah Seeger, who is the principal investigator. No known substance, unfortunately, absorbs light in this way. Various possibilities have been explored by planetary scientists, but they are either too uncommon on Venus or do not have the same absorption properties. Earth, however, has a similarly anomalous absorption known as the red edge. This is due to the fact that light reflected off the Earth's surface is heavily absorbed in the red section of the spectrum. Photosynthesis on the surface is the cause of this occurrence, according to scientists. Because Venus has a comparable absorption anomaly, it's possible that something chemically similar is going on there. The great efficiency of absorption, if utilized as a photosynthetic pigment, could provide a large amount of metabolic energy. Said Seeger, she also added the spectral characteristics of the Venus clouds, including the strong UV absorption, are consistent with the spectrum of certain types of terrestrial bacteria. Another odd finding is that certain Venusian clouds appear to be packed with huge non-spherical particles known as Mode 3 particles. Because the Mode 3 particles are non-spherical, they can't be liquid droplets and aren't made up of entirely concentrated liquid sulfuric acid, the researchers explain. Several organizations have proposed theories as to why the particles are not spherical. One possibility is that sulfuric acid drips might be neutralized, resulting in salt crystals with distorted shapes. Metals and other chemical species are also required for life to function as catalysts in organic processes. 
A catalyst is a type of chemical that accelerates chemical processes. Molecules that would normally take years to interact may now do so in seconds thanks to the assistance of a catalyst. The Venusian atmosphere, however, includes a good scattering of them as well, though the exact elements and amounts remain unknown. Of course, none of this proves that there is life on Venus. Much greater evidence, the type that can only be collected by a mission to examine the Venusian atmosphere at close, is required for this. The Venus Life Finder mission plans to do this over the course of three flights. The first, scheduled to launch in 2023, will be a ballistic drop through the atmosphere that will use a laser to illuminate, excite, and investigate organic molecules while in flight. However, it will be a fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants journey, as the drop only gives you a few minutes to study the environment at low levels. After that, the team plans to introduce a balloon that will spend a week or two flying through the atmosphere, maybe collecting samples for study on board. The mission's last phase is much more ambitious, a sample return. Another balloon will be used, this time carrying a rocket equipped to collect samples, rise into orbit, and return to Earth. So there's a chance there's life on Venus, and if there is, is it possible for us to live there? The flat, smooth plains that cover nearly two-thirds of Venus are the planet's defining surface feature, these plains would, perhaps, be the greatest areas to build up a home base to reside. It wouldn't be a nice experience to walk around on Venus. Because of the planet's runaway greenhouse gas effect, the surface of Venus is totally dry. That is, the planet's thick atmosphere is full of heat-trapping carbon dioxide, which keeps the planet's surface temperatures at around 870 degrees Fahrenheit. Because Venus' gravity is about 91% that of the Earth's, you could jump higher and items would feel lighter on Venus than on Earth. The change in gravity would probably be unnoticed, but the dense atmosphere would be noticeable. You'll feel resistance if you try to move your arm swiftly since the air is so thick. It'd be nearly as if you were immersed in water. Similarly, the change in air pressure would be hard to notice. The air presses down on our bodies at 14.5 pounds per inch to, or one bar, at sea level on Earth, the surface pressure on Venus is 92 bar. On Earth, you'd have to dive more than 3,000 feet into the water to feel that pressure. Despite the fact that the sky on Earth is blue, the sky on Venus is usually reddish-orange due to the way carbon dioxide molecules deflect the sun's light. The sun would seem as a hazy, yellowish tint behind the thick clouds rather than a definite point in the sky. Winds may reach speeds of up to 249 miles per hour in Venus's atmosphere, which is quicker than tornado and hurricane winds on Earth. As a response, this wind has the power to really blow you away. However, the wind speed on the planet's surface is just approximately 2 miles per hour. Even if there is lightning on the planet, the blinding flashes never reach the surface. Furthermore, the extreme heat prevents any rainstorms from reaching the surface of Venus. So, although living on Venus is not a good option for the time being, if you really want to and want to send a message to a friend in the meantime, your message would just take a few minutes to reach Earth when the two planets are at their closest distance apart. When Venus is on the opposite side of the Sun from Earth, it may take nearly 15 minutes for your message to reach its destination. So, there could be life on Venus, but we'll have to wait for the Venus Life Finder mission to do the investigation to find out for sure. Are you excited for the mission's outcome? And what are your thoughts of life on Venus? Let us know in the comments.